Indie games have really taken over this year with games like Pal World, Bellatro, and Pacific Drive. And some of these titles have even had bigger launches than some of the AAA games this year. Even the Switch has been having kind of an off year with no big releases. So maybe some indie games will help kind of fill that void. We've got 20 minutes of awesome indie games coming to the Switch, so let's check it out. Oh, I love the intro for this so far. The little light bulb. Hello everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Tyler. We're Hi, Amber and Tyler. Indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch let's system. check them out. All right, let's get out. Cat? Uh, what was that? Yeah. Oh, I'm just prepping for our first <laughs> segment. Uh, no. I love a cat well, game. Let's get going. What do we got? Hey, Micah. You ready to get started? Yep. This is what I think it is. I see Thank a cat you. back there. Hello. It's Little Kitty Big City. Um, I'm so excited for this. What? I played the oh. demo a while back, and I loved I it so much. Let's go. I heard that Hi, it went gold. I'm Matt. On Twitter, so it's got to maybe we're getting a surprise drop or a release date. I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a. And you get all these cute hats for your cat. When I was teaching my kids how to code, that's the best part. It's grown a lot since then, but the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Untitled Goose Game, like you're just roaming around as a cat. Getting up to no good. I think we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> There's a shark one now? You're a curious little kitty in a big city. In a big you city. Oh, look at the big stretch. Oh, my goodness. Spot, oh, no. <laughs> but you fell and now you're lost. Talk about a near catastrophe. A catastrophe. In this adorable adventure, you'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home. And there's plenty to do along the way. Like, check your to-do list. <gasps> there's a whole to-do list. We got some quests to do. Hairy situations. I do you remember there was like a lot of things that you had to go and find? Uh, Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Yeah, like Another all these shiny things. Um, excuse me, what's that? Achievements to complete. Get petted by humans. Knock things over. <laughs> you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats. Cute. Like a ladybug, a shark, <gasps> Was that a porcupine a one? Oh my gosh. Also perform emotes There's emotes want. now. Oh my god, the, the big, big stretch. stretch. It's a great way to look. Cute. Oh, I love that. Oh, and you can trip over people. <laughs> Get ready to dig your That's literally my cat, Abby. When little kitty May 9th. Let's go. We got a release. May 9th. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to play this. And now you can pre-order too. This is definitely going to be a must buy. This is going to be so good. You ever get that feeling? What is this? This is giving like, like cyberpunk a little bit. More. That's been kind of my deal since Ooh. forever. You have a 2D? But now? Something's changed. It's rainy. I like the There's vibe so far. Oh, Atari. And fly. I like the music so far too. Ooh! Oh, she has like a little like eight bit like tattoo. Oh, that's cool. Looks like a little space invader or something. Whoa! Yars rising. Okay, that looks really cool. I'm Kimura here, aka Yar. If you want to use my handle, which you totally should. She has these really cool superpowers. Shake sci-fi action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from WayForward and Atari. What started as your typical hacker for hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving <laughs> mega conglomerate Kotech. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. Year. Yar. <laughs> All the like puns and stuff today. That's pretty good. Nice. Oh. A journey of self-discovery I like this. this exploration-based adventure. I'm loving the aesthetic Take of this so much. Of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since Everything kind of has that like kind of like sepia filter to it. Every action you take and decision you it's make given like Game Boy kind of game reveals a little more about who you are. Ooh. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories. Interact with other characters and gradually piece together the future the doctor envisioned for you. Oh. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. 
with oh. 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough. And oh, I love a good you. game with choices. Will you end up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? Sage? Or even a strong-willed samurai? <laughs> And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other That's and so compare cool. your choices. It's like a personality type game or type quiz in a game. That's pretty neat. You can learn a little bit about yourself too. Find out who you are yeah. in Refined Self. Refined the self. personality test game launching as a timed console that sounds so exclusive cool. on Nintendo Switch. Well, this timed summer. exclusive. We're <gasps> a dog. We've had business. cats, now we have dogs. We drew our inspirations from the small businesses and creators we this saw so cute. on social media. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful Oh, is this the sticky business? learn about their customers' wholesome stories. So, we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for oh, you Oh, so there's going to be like some Nintendo extra stuff Switch. too, maybe. <laughs> I'm glad we're sticking around for the Aww. cozy sim. Sticky I've heard this business. one's really fun to play. You've got a sticker shop to run. So let your imagination And you can really like make kind of whatever you, you want. stickers and ship them off to customers. Cute. <laughs> Look at the happy little mailbox. There are over 400 elements to choose from when Cappy you Capybara. stickers. And you can get upgrades for even more options. Wow, boba? Ice cream? Books, you like boba. Pizza? <laughs> pizza? Oh, there's Trash pandas? More. <laughs> and you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. Oh, sparkles! So whatever oh my god. And effects you want to Heck design yeah. your artistic <laughs> But no shop is Oh, I like how you get to put customers. them in like the little box, too. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. From a music teacher striving to motivate her students to a Aww. dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. Plus, the Plan With Me paid DLC adds 10 more customer stories and over 100 Ooh. sticker elements. A hundred new sticker elements. Trackers, washi tape. Washi tape and frames. Get yeah. ready to build the cutest shop ever. I'm excited for this too. And sticky business. Both the game and today yeah go grab it on the switch on nintendo switch oh that's gonna be so fun today. a bundle of the game and dlc will also be available yeah. later today i think i might have to get that that'd be a fun one to play on if like you're looking for tiktok or something calming or mysterious journeys we've got you covered with this trio of i also like so far we haven't had any Check farming sims Pink. i'm glad we got some different stuff going today I'm gonna find out who did this. this is giving like Cartoon TV Network TV Nickelodeon TV cartoon. Have a blast. What is this? Anton Blast. Whoa. There's so many like just like colors. It's so 90s. Or the massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. I love it though. Smash up levels like concrete jungles and slimy sewers to alter their paths and find new areas to explore. After reaching the end of each level, a detonator will start ticking down. Uh oh. So you've got to rush oh no, the, the whole level's gonna explode. Run. Get ready for a destructively good time in Anton Blast, launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system, November 12th. Good on Nintendo getting a some timed exclusive stuff. Later today on a demo Nintendo too. Cool. A riveting first-person adventure awaits in riveting? Valley Peaks. As the new technician assigned to the peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the tongue. Mountains, what? <laughs> setting up radio towers so the locals can happily reconnect with the world. But with boulders, spikes, huh. and other hazards in your way, the trip oh. to the summit oh will be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks oh, and take out There's frog villagers? Fill out stamp cards for equipment unlocks to help make climbing easier. Or this is cool. I like a good like exploration game games. like this would be kind of fun. Oh, plan your trip to Valley little mini games when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this year. The art style is so different too.
That looks cool. Sayonara Wild Hearts I've heard of. Ooh. We're getting moody now. Ooh. Is this like a mystery? Oh, yeah. There's puzzles. Ooh. I like a good puzzle game. I like this. We're like in a hotel. Is it haunted? What happened here? Oh. The piano? Whoa. This isn't just a normal hotel. Welcome. Lorelei and the laser eyes. Whoa. And it was Hi, Annapurna, I'm too. Pinto, the creator of Europa. Oh, that looks cool. So ago, I started working on the game in my spare time. And okay, on to the next thing. Blossomed with the help this is of going, like, really well-paced. I like this. All bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style. To I love a good watercolor art style. Vibes. I wanted it to be a meditative experience and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. Ooh, the eye. Oh, wow, Some this is pretty. that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, oh, there's some like underwater stuff too. It was sleeping within. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than this. This is gorgeous. Kind of like I don't know why it makes me think of like a Zelda game, kind of the watercolor and like the Skyward Sword kind of pretty aesthetic. Oh whoa. Yeah, this is giving like Breath of the Wild a little bit too. Oh, you can like fly around? Oh yeah. This is cool. <gasps> There's like whales? Deer? Kind of giving me like Journey vibes and stuff too, or a Sky Children of the Light. It's you. And I'm running around exploring. Oh, it's snowy. You have a little, the little companion animal. Whoa. Also kind of Ghibli-ish, too. Europa. That's so cool. Oh, there's a demo, too. Okay, I'm definitely downloading that. I love a good demo. TMNT. The Ninja Turtles are here. In their very first radical roguelike adventure. Oh, roguelike! Let's go. I really have been digging the roguelites a lot lately. I know I feel like a lot of people are kind of getting fatigued on them, but I just recently kind of discovered them, so <laughs> it's newer for me. While enhancing your abilities with power-ups, but no two runs are the same. Upgrade your turtle powers to grow stronger and shred through the story. The four turtles each have their signature weapons and awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance. I also of really liked the TMNT damage. Fortnite collab was pretty cool a few months back. That was really fun. Also loving the Avatar one right now. Combos. Don't get too attached though, because these powers reset when a run ends. More customization options await back at your suit. <laughs> Where's the home, pizza? Where you can spend in-game currency Where's you Shredder? on your runs on permanent upgrades called artifacts. Pick the turtle and artifact that best suit your preferred playstyle. I think he's like big Enjoy boss enemy things. Iconic locations solo or jump online with up to three bodacious bugs. Oh, you can play online play. with some friends. Your team of turtles can drop in and out whenever Very cool. they want. Making for a no crash play sash. Get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate Splintered launches Fate. as a timed console exclusive nice little summer on game. Nintendo Switch this July. Pizza's cool. here! I was wondering, I was like, where's the pizza? <laughs> I'll take some pepperoni. <gasps> cat? Adorable cat? I think I've seen this before. Is this like Cat Tales? Cat Quest. There we go. Cat Quest 3! The Peribian? <laughs> Is he a little pirate now? 
This looks so cute. Oh my god. Cat games. They gone up high rats. Oh no. Not those rats. <laughs> I have not played any of the Cat Quest games, but I've seen them before. Like, I've seen, like, the trailers and stuff. Has anybody else played? Has anyone played these? Do you recommend? It looks like some different kind of gameplay styles all in one, kind of. Got some ship attack. Some ship battles. There's co-op. You can get another cat in on your adventure. It's exciting. But there's also, like normal kind of melee stuff too. Okay. Mythical North Star. Cool. I mean, in August. That just looks so cute. And there's a demo. All these demos. Good job. <gasps> I see so their little Lego NES in the Jay, back. That's cute. The studio art director. And this is my amazing wife and artist, Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. <gasps> it is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game. Is this the one that's actually like all embroidered? Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hooks for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are fusion of personal experience. So there's like some DLC kind of things idea. too. The penguin mascot is a gamified Aww. avatar of our producer Tanin. <laughs> some content categories funny. like mystical creature, for example, originated from our players. Oh, that's cool. We hope you will enjoy the game and happy, happy stitching. stitching. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we have the penguin in here. Here's the nitty gritty on this oh, cozy game. You'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Ooh. Figuring out exactly where to stitch is key to completing the hoop. Kind of reminds me of like From Sudoku kind of. Teddy bears like the to numbers. Real life locations, there are Sudoku? all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Oh, I like the peacock. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break. Interesting. With small okay, so like one. Of, okay, I see. It's like that's how many squares there are, and there, there's two there. Thought. Complete hoops in whatever order this you like. This seems just like really no satisfying too. You choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld oh, mode. That's cool. After completing a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. Oh, you can change the colors if, if you want. Seems too tough. Don't worry. A handy hint feature oh, can there's be used hints. at I like any a good time. Hint too. Yeah, you I can see like the really big sections being a little bit harder. Accessibility settings. Yay, accessibility. Left hand mode. That's me. I'm left handed. Daily Shikaku <laughs> puzzles. These ones don't oh, there's daily ones hints, too. So you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Oh, that's fun. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired oh, there's like different holidays. events and <gasps> filled with trivia. So stitch away while that's learning so, a fun That sounds so fun. I love this. Plus, this is a great idea. Once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch, stitch. launches as a console today. Yeah. Ah. Later today. This seems like a fun one, like a really good one to do, like every day, kind of like the little Before watermelon go, game or something like that, you know? And a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Zzzt. Is it like a little bee? Oh no, you're a little robot. That's cute. So now we're getting a little montage with some new games. Skim? Oh, this looks like Splatoon kind of. Like you're kind of running around in like the ink. Oh, that's interesting. Or like the shadows. <laughs> Your little shadow creature. Oh, animal well. That just looks difficult. I can already tell. <laughs> oh. 
Duck Detective. Okay, I saw that this one was coming to PC a while ago. That's coming out in May. <gasps> this looks so cute. I'm so glad it's coming to the Switch. Yes. Cheers. <gasps> Crab Game. I'm so excited for Crab Souls. That one comes out April 25th, so just a few more days. It is. I played the demo for that one too. It's so good. We've got time for one last announcement. One more oh, thing. Steve. What's the Take big out. final reveal? Get ready to sail the spectacular <gasps> Steam seas World in this Heist 2. Steam World Little steampunky game. The waters of the world have I feel like I've heard about the first one, the but I never played it. Mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots like in co-op kind of thing too. Shootouts in a brand new adventure. Point, shoot, and let those bullets bounce. Interesting. Oh. This time around, you can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval a combat. submarine. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. You can even befriend steam bots along the way, recruit them to your cause, and embark on an epic voyage together. As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and oh, we got some character customization, skill trees, along with over 100 customization, weapons, utility items, Whoa. and ship equipment a lot of pieces, loot. you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your Steambot's jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be unlocked. Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. So many hats! <laughs> Look at the hats! <laughs> Take aim and the last box to bits when... SteamWorld Heist Steam World 2, Heist 2 on in August. Switch, August Did we get some fun summer games coming? That's all for today's Little Indie Kitty World. Big City. We hope you enjoyed the game. Wow, there were some good showcase. games showcased today. I'm very excited for a lot of these. What are you most excited to play from today's showcase? Let me know down below in the comments. I also am definitely going to be streaming some of these over on my Twitch or TikTok page, so make sure you guys go follow there too.